Well, 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 Agar. Let me at least finish the sentence. No, you're not allowed to finish the sentence. If it's going to be foolish, you foolish fool. <laughs> the key point here is the wooden box. The same wooden box that the victim was found hunched over. Oh. Well, thank you, Mr. Yep. Wright, for reading my lines. I quite appreciate it. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, the judge. That, that thing where Maya reads people's minds. I'm sorry. That's starting to rub off, Judge. Oh, I'm no. sorry. Uh, you might yeah, need to I get know. that it's... checked. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm... the judge has so much going on in his head to begin with. Au <laughs> contraire, <laughs> Monfrey. It does indeed have something to do with the question. Also, she's German, not French. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? What language is that? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Turnabout Big Top. Uh, Phoenix Wright has already played out the scenario of what happened to the murder that night, and we're just waiting to see how Acro's going to handle this. Poorly. Poorly. Yes. Please be poorly. I'm begging you, be poorly. <laughs> well, thank you for all those symbols right there. So you see, the only person who could have pulled this off is Maya. What? What? Huh? Wait. I'm sorry. Even I'm surprised by that. What are you talking what about? What do you mean? I'm, I'm sorry. This is you usually get accused of murder, and it just felt wrong if you if it went too long without you being accused Nick, of murder. I've already been accused of murder once in this case i'm already i'm free i don't, I don't in get this case in this case no in this game yeah but it's been like months it's it, i needed to restore the natural order anyway belay that the only person who could have done it is the one person who was able to drop the murder weapon from above the crime scene acro it could only have been you yo man i'm getting tired of these birds Akro's been playing mind games with all of us. He sure has. But he has come to the end of his rope now. Uh oh. What now? You've created a rather long-winded tale. But do you have any evidence to prove that your fairy tale is true? Uh, uh evidence? Judge. In this court, only two things matter. The power of evidence and the power of the whip. Okay, so only one thing matters. <laughs> Don't yeah, the forget power of her whip. the power of my gavel as well. Mr. Wright, the prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? Nick, they say they want evidence. I just explained how there could only be one possible murder method. There's still something unusual about Moe's eyewitness account. Unusual? A contradiction, actually. There is? Okay, then. Use that and get out of this jail. Okay, this was like months ago. <laughs> what the heck did Mo even say? <laughs> That's enough talking amongst yourselves. Proceed, Mr. Wright. Present some evidence to the court that backs your claims. Okay, my, my mind is an absolute blank. And I'm probably just gonna go ahead and look at the guy because it's been like months and I don't remember what Mo even saw or said besides... He he thought he saw Max. I would hope. Um, can we can we look, look at... through the evidence just for the descriptions? The picture that's not I really seen helpful. that. Mm -hmm. Documents related to Max's salary none. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I wish we had, like, a log of testimonies. Alright. Blunt force trauma to the back of the head. And yeah, that makes sense with the bust. Okay. Uh-huh. What the hell? Is this where he is the <laughs> You know, I don't remember what most said. We're just gonna cheat because, like, I generally well, what have I nothing. Heard... I have nothing to go with this. It's what I heard poster? was, two... what I remember was two thumbs, and the uh, and the symbols. Oh, okay. Well, well the post said the something symbol, about then. two thumbs. All right, we'll go with this because you you got something because I don't remember shit. The problem is Max's three symbols. You know, the silk hat, the cloak, and the white roses. 
Those symbols were a problem numerous times during yesterday's proceedings. Yesterday, there were two contradictions in most testimony. The cat was one, the white roses were the other. He thought he saw the white roses? But the theory oh. I just presented explains all of these contradictions. Yep. You fool, do you ever set up? No, no, it's my job. It's like asking you to stop whipping. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Max's silk hat was found at the scene of the crime. However, remember what Mo said yesterday. He testified that the criminal he saw fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. All right, there was that. I even said this at the very beginning of the second day. There's only one explanation for that. The silk hat that Mo saw was actually the bust. Rubble, 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 rubble. Makes sense. If you look at it that way, then he did see the silk hat. Well, sort of. And you've got the one, but what about the other contradiction? The other contradiction? Remember what happened to the question in court? No, I actually don't. <laughs> he said that he witnessed the white roses on Max's chest that night. Yeah, because... The cloak. Yeah. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. The clown said that there were no white roses. I... I... Friends... The cloak is on backwards. I'd like to see you try to explain that one away. Can you do it, Nick? Of course. I can explain all of it. How was that? Please recall the instance when the cloak snagged onto the bust. If the cloak snagged onto the bust, then what happens to the then what happened to the white roses? I feel like we're, I feel like we're in law school for preschool right now. Or we're in law for preschools. <laughs> Do you get it yet? If the cloak got snagged onto the front of the bust, it means that the white roses would end up on the back of the bust. Okay, okay Discord. Discord, don't pick up screen. <laughs> <laughs> Which explains why Mo didn't see them. The white roses were not visible because they were on the back side of the bust. Rubble, 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 rubble. Order! Order! Ahem. This is quite the shocking state of affairs. Mr. Wright's theory still sounds a bit absurd to me. However, let's just keep going down this road for a while and see where it leads. Let's do this, Nick. Then maybe Mark Carver will finally throw in the towel. Uh, yeah, she don't look ready. Neither does he! They have birds. They're very nice. They are nice birds. Well, so much for that theory. Mr. Wright. Do you mind? What is it? You took the time to research our circus, didn't you? Well, yes, I did. Is there something making you think that I didn't? Uh, he's probably gonna think of why would he kill the ringmaster. Yep. If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Um, why is that? Motive. This witness here is an incredible debtor guide to towards the ringmaster. Anyone with real relation to the circus is well aware of that. Because he wasn't trying to kill the ringmaster. That sure is the case. That's, there's absolutely no way someone like this would kill the ringmaster. Rubble, rubble, We're like five rubble, steps rubble. ahead of Yvonne Karma, like, come on. Your Honor, I'd like you to hear Akra's story. Learn about his relationship with the Ringmaster and his life up until now. Well, what do we do? There's no doubting that Akra deeply respected the Ringmaster. Akra's motive. Hmm. It's a good thing we have this dead lion in our evidence. <laughs> it's Your Honor, I would like to present this lion carcass that I have in my pocket. <laughs> Hang on a second. It's jammed in there. I have to. I have to pull it. I have to. My help! My help! Oh man! It oh really my god! Stinks! 
I don't know how I fit this into my pocket. Hang on. I, I don't know either. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Here it is, Judge. Here it is, Judge. Ooh, oh. nice. you get those, did you get those pads from Mary Poppins? Ah. <laughs> they're, they're custom made. I needed them for college. <sighs> what? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Are you part of the circus, Mr. Wright? Because that was quite a feat. I mean, I work here, don't I? Oh, I suppose. Um, it seems that this case isn't over yet. Very well. However, I feel this is a good place to take a break. I will listen to the rest of Mr. Dingley's testimony after recess. This court will now take a ten minute recess. Bunk. Mm, the last to be continued. Yeah, I need, I, need a, I need a break after pulling out a line out of my <laughs> pants. Like, hang on a second. <laughs> Phoenix Wright has clown pants, got it. He stole them from Mo. <laughs> December 30th, 2.17 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 5. Of course I have clown pants. This is a kangaroo court. I can't believe it! Acro? To be fair, uh, considering how much is in our court record, it makes absolute sense that Wright is wearing clown pants. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? It definitely is! And to think he was always the most straightforward of the group. Jeebus! Am I that hated? <clears throat> Akro tried to pin the murder on you on purpose. He... He did? I don't know who... Is this Gumshoe? <laughs> <clears throat> but, but... I'm nothing but a little old nobody, you know? But you're not, which is kind of the reason why... Hey, hey, pal! Hell yeah. Remember when I was like, over there a little bit ago, and then you were just like, oh yeah, I gotta go find the evidence of whatever, and I was like, man, now you're just gonna ignore me? After all, I went to the trouble to bring you some evidence? Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Detective Gumshoe. Ah, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyways. Oh my god! <laughs> no, no, detective. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you relax a little? We got some really tasty milk! We do? What? How about a card trick, detective? Ho ho ho! Where the view is. Now about that evidence you mentioned. What is it? Here you go. Oh, we get the scarf. Huh? This was yesterday in Acro's room. Yep, and I've included the forensic results. Take a look at it later. Won't Miss Karma be mad that you're doing this? That's why this is all secret. <laughs> that, huh? hence, the, hence the fact that, you know, it's going like, pss, pss, Wait, like, this is meant to be a secret, pal. Come on. Look, details that I need to know basis. Uh, we're not really airlines or anything. But everything that's happened up in the corner now has gone according to our plan. I don't know. This smart karma didn't seem in control of things in there just now. You'll figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans are set in the motion. Final plans? Eh? Uh -huh. That reminds me. I've got a message from the prosecutor for you. Ahem. No, let me see how. Tell, how how would he say this? Yeah. Uh. Nothing is ever truly decided until the very end. Yeah, it's like that. That's it. Uh, 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 that's it for me too, pal. I'm out of here. What do you mean by that? The very end part. I'm not sure. It was all pretty cryptic to me. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, oh okay, all right. I, 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 I'm, uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm Colombo now. Oh, don't <laughs> scare me like that. Looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. What? For me? It's milk. What is the joke with the milk? He, he grew he's up like, on a he, farm? He's a himbo yeah, because he lives on the farm? I... <laughs> The session there looks like some kind of dairy. So I only have to drink it up before it spoils. An entire dairy's worth of milk? For me? 
That's a lot of milk. milk. Mo, probably. I don't know. December 30th, 2.27 p.m. Honestly, I could see Mo doing that. Yeah. <laughs> December 30th, 2.27 p.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Rubble, 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 Mo, rubble. no, see, listen, listen. Mo is sending a message to to Phoenix, and the message is, milk him. <laughs> oh, I thought the message was gonna be drink more other team. <laughs> milk him, milk Acro, milk him. I'm dying. Milk him dry. <laughs> what? Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Court is now back in session, and none of this milk talk, please. Miss Fort Karma, please continue from where you left off. We're going to continue with Akra's testimony, starting with his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Akra would have to commit this crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Dingling. Yes, Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. Finally, we get to the motive! Wait, Nick, are you okay? Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Uh, oh boy. It's fine, don't worry about it. About the I'm sure glad we got that evidence that we didn't check in the record. Well, now we can check while he's, he's talking. Stained with his blood and a small quantity of pet. <gasps> we can prove the, the box. Wait, Pepper! So, Leanne was doing everything properly. The Pepper is what set him off and did the attack in the first place. It was an accident. This bottle oh my... was in here to send a message. Hey! Here we go! It was a series of accidents. That's why they were talking that the lion was smirking. He was sneezing. Yeah. Yep. Alright. When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of Barry Big Circus, Russell Barry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Hmm, you're such a thoughtful young man. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think that Echo would kill the man he had in such high esteem. You are absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Which is why there's no real need for a cross-examination, is there? Oh, you're right about that, actually. Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Why would Acro kill the Ringmaster? This might be my last chance to answer that question. We... Well, I mean... He's not going for the ringmaster, so what would there be cross-examining? Yeah, the, I actually don't think there's any need to cross-examine. There's nothing in the statement that would do anything, because we already know it's, who he, he wanted to kill. Yeah, he wasn't after the ringmaster, so there's no point, He was right? after Regina. Okay, let's go with this. It's, it's a little odd, but let's go with it. There's no need to cross-examine this witness. No, what's that?! Why was the ringmaster murdered? There is no need to delve into that bit of testimony when I know the answer already. Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. I would just like to know. Can you provide an explanation as to why Akra would want the Ringmaster dead? We can't. Uh, yeah. Because he wouldn't want to. Mm -hmm. Nick? Yeah. I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Acro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. What? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all. 
Foolish attempts of a fool. <laughs> okay. Why are these always tongue twisters? My your foolish gracious. tongue twister with your foolish tongue and your foolish twister? <laughs> yes. And it's a tornado and it's also a twizzler and whatever and blah blah blah. <laughs> your foolish attempts of fool that's like foolish fools is so fool had to be foolish. Say fool Don't again. Forget, you're stupid. <laughs> Okay, you know what? You didn't say fool I respect it. Alright, okay. I was just quoting a bit from Dexter's lab. <laughs> I, oh, I know. I'm aware. Don't you forget? You made an accusation against his witness, did you not? I believe it was. This is the real killer of Russell Berry, the ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. The end of things? Acro. You didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? The Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you just say? I'm saying that the target of this witness's murderous plot was not the Ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. What? Rubble, 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 rubble. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Order! Order! Bailiff, I don't care who it is. Smack anyone who's loud in the face. Twice if you must. Judge, what the uh, hell? Your honor, what the hell? <laughs> Mr. Roy, <laughs> what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Oh! Mr. Foolish Long, what in the world are you trying to do to his court? <laughs> he just said that, right? <laughs> I, I just, okay, I all just, right. I just said that, Ms. Var Carper. You oh, didn't have to I, say that I, for me. Can I smack her? Can I smack her? Are you attempting to imply that Akira was trying to kill someone else? Okay, so here's the thing. Do we show Regina or do we show the note? Ooh. Regina. Yeah. Okay. I'm going for Regina. <laughs> Regina Berry? This young girl is the Ringmaster's daughter, correct? Akro. You were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? Need to answer that. It's a mean spirited leaving question. Objection. You wouldn't know about mean spirited, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. He could easily answer this question. If I'm wrong, all he has to do is all he has to say is, you're wrong. That's it. That's it? Huh, Mr. Foolish wrong? Enough! Mr. Wright, allow me to- No! The only thing allowed to interrupt me is the death itself. Huh? Are you that- Are you- Do you want to die? Are you, 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 you alright, Miss Von Gorba? Do you want to die? <laughs> I- I- I'm- I'm actually not going to smack her anymore. I'm- I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and that goes for you too, Mr. Foolish Long. Show me evidence, now! That's the note. I want to know why. Akira Wait, is this the lion? Regina Berry. Am I pulling out the lion? You're pulling out the lion. Yeah. Or bats. Yes, or, me. Or, 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 or the. Or the There's a lot of things that we can present. This doesn't help. Yes, me too. I demand to see some proof. Present evidence that proves Akra was out to kill his young girl. Wait, no, it's gotta be the note. The, the way this question is placed, it's gotta be the note. Okay. It's gotta be the note. Acro, you remember this, don't you? That's... It's a piece of paper that we found inside the Ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat? Acro wrote this note. It's ironically entitled, To the Murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. Rubble, 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 rubble. So you're saying that he called Russell Berry with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem? Acro did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Berry. Rubble, 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 rubble? Rubble? 
Order, order, order! B -b Mr. Wright, this little theory of yours. It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. Which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. The, that father, I mean, the ringmaster saw the note? That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in that plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina. What? That's incredible! Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today? Mixing the bus and looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. Acro had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza. Because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I've got it! I've got it! Acro thought it was Regina down in the plaza! And that's when he let the bust fly. Rubble, 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 rubble. That Ooh. bust was for me? Hey, Nick. Isn't Regina listening to all of this from the audience? She is. Unfortunately, it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. Akko wrote this note to Regina! Foolishly foolish foolery with foolishly foolish food ideas of foolishly top foolery! You're so foolish! You've really got me started to sound like a food heady fool! You are foolish! You are foolish! And don't forget, you are foolish! Thanks, Dexter. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wrong. If you're so sure, then tell me about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Oh, I mean... I got, yes? I got that. What about that line? Man, if the note was meant for Regina Berry, it would mean that. There's no one's declaring that Regina Berry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza. In place of his lovely daughter. Rubble, 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 rubble. Hold it right there, Mr. Wright. What is this incident that is alluded to in the note? The incident six months ago. I, have... I mean, I have no idea. What the hell? <laughs> Phoenix! <laughs> Phoenix! <laughs> we're, we're too deep in this trial. How would you not know, right? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the incident occurred six months ago. And now I am more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Moran! Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has its start in what happened six months ago. Rubble, 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 rubble. Oh. Really, Nick? Maya, you were there. I... um... I think so. Phoenix, you were there. <laughs> Heaven, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in this note? I certainly... I, oh. I know I'd certainly like to know what it is. I can't answer that question. The judge is going to think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about the incident six months ago is actually... It's the scarf, isn't it? No, it was the seasoning bottle. It was inside the wooden box. Oh. Right? It was, that's all that was found, right? It was just a single... It, it's gotta be the That's what was bottle. in the box, yeah. Hmm. Ah, achoo! 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 Oh, achoo! Achoo! Got a spicy joke is this, Mr. Food is long. It isn't a joke at all. It's the decisive, it's the decisive evidence you asked for. What, what do you mean? How did you? Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away with him. He was doing so because this piece of decisive evidence is what was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion! Very well, Mr. Wright, so what exactly are you saying? 
Are you claiming Regina Berry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Who never tires of his own foolish ways. I love how she keeps adding more foolish as she starts stressing out. I mean, that's her character quirk. I love it. <laughs> if you're so sure it's a foolish wrong, then answer this question. Who was Regina Berry's intended victim? Bat. 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 Goku. Goku! <laughs> hey, it's me, Goku! I mean, to be Bat's character design looks like uh, Actually, Sun Wukong. Wukong. He looks like, yeah, he looks like Sun Wukong. Well, who is this? That is Acro's younger brother. Sorry, I had the on. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Girl! 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 Are you kidding me? <laughs> do you? Remember, do you she's pay only, attention? Remember, she's only 16 years old or something. <laughs> you are stupid! You are stupid! Baka! And once again, <laughs> you are stupid! Anyway, technically that's and, true. And, 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 then, and, and then it was raining Francisca's heads. <laughs> <laughs> However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Acro could feel that his brother is dead. Regina! She did that to him! You spend your entire life dreaming of new ways to be a fool. Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Acro's brother, Sean Ding Ding. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion that fell into a, and fell into his comatose state. Be respectful of Acro, huh? We're just gonna talk about his brother getting bitten by a lion and being in a coma. That's fine. Yep. That's fine. Yeah, yep. go ahead. Mm -hmm. Keep keep being respectful. Keep being respectful, Francesca. Do it. You're doing great. <laughs> oh. You're doing great, sweetie. Oh, 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 oh lion? Did it seem that? I mean, Miss Regina Berry is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in here. Rubble, 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 rubble. That's right. None of my animals are trained to attack humans. Hmm. Mo, uh, Mo, please, please let her know about things. So then what happened to Acro's brother? He's not the victim of attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? Uh, it's definitely more than that, right? <laughs> well, I mean, it was an accident, but it was an accident that was caused by Regina unintentionally. I mean, I guess well, the question is, if the pepper is the uh, conclusive evidence, who used it on the lion to make it sneeze? I mean, Bat. It was on his... The problem was that the pepper was on Bat's scarf. Mm, okay. But who put it on And then there? when but he stuck his head there? inside the lion, but the lion put... saw the pepper and sneezed. Okay, but who put it on the scarf? Regina. How do we know that? Because Regina gave him the scarf. Also, they have a joke oh. where, like, Regina... You know how... You know how... Yeah, and also Bat, like like messes around with her too because she sneezes from pepper she he thinks it's funny so what if regina got it back on him just to be thinking it was funny i think it was more than that the lion biting bat was no accident at all actually uh we should probably stop here we're, yeah, we'll stop oh, okay. here. We should stop here. We're over time, and this is actually a very good stopping point before we actually conclude this. We are definitely concluding this case in the next video, though. So we're going to stop here and continue on next time. <laughs>